We have a super cool video for you today, kids. We're gonna be using a dump truck to haul garbage. Yeah! So let's figure out what's happening. We have a skid loader. That's the white machine picking garbage up and putting it into the back of the dump truck. And behind them, we have a blue garbage truck waiting to get by. So why would they be using a dump truck to haul garbage? Hmm. Well, sometimes a dump truck can pick up things that a garbage truck just can't. In this case, these guys are actually removing a swimming pool. Yep, that's right. That's the inside of an old swimming pool that no one was using anymore. And it was easier to put the swimming pool into the back of a dump truck than to try to fit it into a garbage truck like the blue one that you're going to be seeing in just a moment. Here comes a real garbage truck driving by right now. You can see that the garbage truck and the dump truck are almost the same size. And it works great to haul garbage in a dump truck because you can use a machine like this skid loader to load them. You can also use an excavator to load blocks and other things that you just can't fit into a garbage truck. And a dump truck can do other things, like haul big equipment around. Look, it's the same truck that was hauling garbage is now towing around a skid loader and an excavator. Wow, those dump trucks sure can do a lot of different things. But let's see what they're gonna be putting on the back of it next. Hmm, I wonder. <gasps> Wait a minute. What were they doing with that truck in the air? Were they hauling dirt? Hmm, yep, they can haul dirt, garbage, debris. They can even break up houses and haul them with a dump truck. What is that guy doing in the back of the truck though? Hmm, I wonder, I think he's just having fun, but nope, he's actually working. What he's trying to do is make sure the load gets secured in the right way. You can see the skid loader gently picking up the debris and putting it into the back and then he hops into the back and lets the operator know exactly where to dump it. That way the truck can get completely full. Now when the truck's not hauling garbage, it lifts up and drops dirt and then slowly lets the box back down because they can't drive down the road with the box in the air. You can see where the truck driver is pointing to the back of the truck. He's trying to let the skid steer operator know to push the garbage all the way to the back and then to smush it down as tight as he possibly can. There he goes. He pushes the garbage all the way to the back and smushes it down. That helps get the truck absolutely full. Dump trucks can haul all sorts of things. Here they're loading safety equipment into the back of a baby dump truck. But let's see how they're doing with the garbage. They're getting it all pushed over and smushed into the back of the dump truck. Boy, that's gonna be one big load when they're all done with it. They're making sure they take up every inch of space they have. They don't wanna drive around empty. Uh-oh. What are they gonna do with that thing? Well, I think they're gonna try to put it on the back of the dump truck. That's why they were making room so they could get all of the garbage from the site onto the back and hauled out in one load. Let's see if they can do it. Here they go, they're smushing more garbage down. To make room. Hmm, they gotta get that on the back of the truck. But first, he's gotta get it on the front of his machine. He can't even pick it up. What's he gonna do? think he's gonna call for help. He's opening the door. Let's see if he can get somebody to help him get that on the front of his skid loader. There we go. He's getting some help. All he's gotta do is get it lifted up just enough that the forks can grab the front of that track. He's lifting and lifting. The truck driver's waiting for him to haul that garbage and get it in the back of his truck so he's making space. Here it comes. He's lifting it up. He's gonna put it right under the back of the truck. The truck driver knows exactly where he wants that to go. He's got it all planned out so when he lifts up his truck to dump that garbage, it will all come out at one time. I think that's a great plan. 
They don't want to have any of that garbage getting stuck in the back of the truck. So they put the light stuff on the bottom and the heavier stuff on top. If they did it the other way around, sometimes that light stuff could blow right out of the back of the truck as they're driving down the road. Hit the subscribe button now, kids, to see more adventures with big trucks and heavy equipment.